If he wants to make a statement, why don't you make this statement, Man Cow? Why don't you get this statement to Man Cow? Uh, why don't you give all the money back and even donate to a uh, to a, oh, there a, you go. A, a fine charity? All the money you made being a shock jock. That would yeah. be making a statement. That is a hell of a statement to Instead make. Instead of, like, typing out shit from a mansion somewhere in Chicago. Lying. This business did well by you. Phony. So why don't you give all the money back and give it to a charity? That's making a statement. Saying, say, say it was wrong to do that type of radio. Let's yeah. see what kind of a man you really are. I told Great you years, years ago before I knew you guys, when I met him through Dice, he flew me out to Chicago to play a rapist. Did I ever tell you this story? To no. play a rapist. I swear to God, you never told us. Oh, my God. Holy shit. I was uh, brought out... By the uh, way, this is something that a lot of people do know of. He's... It, 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 all his phone calls, those phony phone calls and everything, all set up and fake. I didn't know you were... Uh... Oh, yeah, this is way back, man. This might be 99 or whatever it was. I was very... I don't have any radio. And he wanted... He liked me as a comic, but he said, I want to bring you out, not as Jim Norton, but to play a rapist on my show. So he brought me out. And they filmed it, and he made me wear, like, these really weird glasses and this face covering, like, like, like I was a rapist who he was trying to, ask, like, yell at for the community. And, oh, my um, God. And, and then he had, like, his, like I, and I knew it was kind of, I was fake, obviously, but I knew it was really weird when he's like, I, I don't want you in here to even look at him. Like, to his female sidekick or whoever she was, but she wasn't there. Like, he was just saying it like... Like, she had come into the room, but she hadn't. Holy shit. And uh, he kept trying to goad me into saying things that were more fucked up. I was just talking about being a rapist. I don't remember what I was saying. I'm sure I was awful. And he's like, well, uh, so how... just telling about your real-life stories, and he wanted to pick it up a notch. <laughs> well, he's like, well, how about kids? I'm like, uh, no, I don't, I don't go for kids. I was trying to be realistic about it. And he goes, are you sure? Or something uh, like that. Oh, like, yeah, well, there was one time. Yeah, it was really weird. He was trying to goad me into saying, like, I fuck kids. And then he filmed me for the Fox show. That was when I was wearing, like, the, the sunglasses and the weird shirt over my face. And he was, like, being... Like, I have a rapist here um, on uh, my show. Yeah, a guy oh. was calling up, threatening to shotgun me. Um, it was awful. I was like, ugh. That's what he, that's what he does, though. <sighs> They're all just phony fucking... He, he, he just had a, a big phony fucking show.